stream to TikTok now? I mean, we're live. Well, Machete don't TikTok. Oh, now we got both. Now both audios are gone. I always got a message from somebody that I haven't gotten a message from in a long time. A uh, good message? Maybe. It, it was It was a, are you still alive message. <laughs> ah, that could be good. Streaming Pokemon Infinite. Full Metal 737. The same. Yeah, yeah we, got, we got audio. Awesome. Oh, there's <clears throat> Big Crystal... Yo, 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 yo! In we are house. alive. We're sorry for the hiatus. Life got lifed. Yes. Now if I could just remember the buttons. Oh, look at the Piplup spray. He's sniffing the roses. How cute. <laughs> I do like Piplup. Okay, so we have Gen 4 Pokemon. That's cool. Yeah, I found him. Remember when we began the journey? I don't remember much of... Maybe you don't. Most things. Okay, <laughs> well... There was a new thing called the Hidden Forest, but there was a uh, a cliff you couldn't that you normally jump over, so you couldn't go into the forest from yes, the first okay, route. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you I went found around? The, I found the other end of it. Okay, sweet. And there was a Piplup, like, encounter, like, a sprite on screen. Oh! Like a legendary encounter. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I wonder if there's there's more of those things. Ooh. There's gotta be. Maybe my boy Char Charmander? Char no, um, Chimchar? Now you've seen him before, I think. Oh, you, but, there's already been a Chimchar? Oh, no, no, sorry. Polyrath. On screen. Yes. But you have not seen this! Holy shit. <laughs> That's Machoke and Machoke? I think so. I mean, his name is Machoke. Yeah. What is he standing on? The belt. He has broken his oh, limit. Oh, wow. That was, the belt was his limiter. So he's he took off his limiter, he stomped on it, and now he's like... He's ready to go. Look at me. I am fabulous. Yes. And he is. He is. He's got that hair. He's got... Okay, I don't remember seeing that. Yeah, I don't remember... Evolved. So you, you evolved um, the Magikarp part, right? Or the Primate part? Both, I think. Because I remember... He's changed a few times. Uh, yeah, I remember one of them evolved. I don't remember if it was uh, Mankey or if it was Magikarp. I don't remember which evolves first. But I like it. Yes. Alright, very cool. Are we... Are we overpowered? No. Okay, good. Because, I mean, I still want the risk of, you know, our team being wiped... And us having to go home with our heads and sh hung, hung in shame. Well, we're not nuzlocking in it, so... It's still shameful. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> Even if we don't die, we're still in shame. Oh, I did catch a bunch of... Yo, that's, uh, that's one of the black and white dudes. Oh, yeah, all the... the uh... So how far does this game go? Well, as far as the fans took it. Oh. Okay, that's fair. Because I don't remember seeing them last time we played. Oh, they're here. How often does this game update? I don't know. Hmm. Because <laughs> I'm very curious if they add new Pokemon like every couple months or whatever. Oh, there was a nice little playground over here, I <gasps> think. A playground? The same. With razor blades at the end of the slide? Uh, maybe not. Oh. A little Lame. accordion guy. I already bailed everybody here, but... Oh, okay, nice. This is nice. nice Dude. Little, little additions. Okay, so you're not into this kind of thing, but... <laughs> I recently got into this kind of thing. It's called, um... Stalking. How did you know? 
I go to playgrounds. I go to uh... playgrounds and I find children that uh, just kind of pique my interest. <laughs> no, there's a there's a genre of books called splatterpunk. Huh. And I don't know if you can like kind of guess based on what it sounds like, but it's extremely gratuitous uh, content, kind of just crammed into a book. Did you see this one? Holy sh... Wait, that's two Voltorbs. No, it's just one. That's one? Oh, that's just, just I just changed sprite? the sprite to an ex mid-explosion. <laughs> that's cruel, and I love it. Yes. Dude, that's so cool! <laughs> so I got a bunch of these so we can turn into polyras to fuse. With Are we stuff? gonna... We should fuse two poly whirls to see what that happens. Oh, right. Splatterpunk. So, <clears throat> it, it, it's... There, there are two Splatterpunk books that I've listened to through, like, audiobook. Um, one of them is called Cows, which is really fucked up. <laughs> it's about, like, a dude who's been messed up by his mom, and then he's all like, Alright, I'm gonna get a job working at a slaughter factory. And all of the cows are horrible horribly mistreated like oh no it, 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 just for the sake of like not having to put up a discretion warning on our videos or anything like that i mean i know we're not big enough for something like that but just so we don't have to do it later um it's really fucked up <laughs> <laughs> and there's another one called the playground where it's about a hilariously and i mean hilariously in like the worst possible way hilariously maniacal old rich woman who takes these families with children in order to take their children and put them through these saw like traps that are playgrounds torturing these children and making their parents watch oh it's so bad and the book itself is so descriptive and grotesque but it's very well written <laughs> <laughs> well that's good <laughs> but i've been i've been going down this whole like rabbit hole of like horror pretty much and there's like some really good stuff and really shitty stuff like not just oh it's so bad it's good or whatever that it's just it's just stupid bullshit kind of stuff um, one really good one is called Baraska, and it's about a person that moves to a town, and so him and his family move to his town, and, um, his sister gets, like, uh, abducted. Nobody's able to figure out where she is. She leaves a note, or quote-unquote leaves a note, saying she ran away, and that's what everybody just kind of assumes happened. Oh wow, I love that weeping gla. Weeping, weeping Ella. Weeping Ella. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then, like, this. So, this whole book kind of, like, leads you to thinking it's paranormal. Like, crazy stuff happens. There's this screech or scream, like, really loud noise that happens in the forests. Uh, these kids are finding these weird things throughout the forest that makes you feel like it's maybe something uh, out of out of um, human control, like like ghosts or demons or some bullshit like that. And then by the end of the book, uh, spoiler warning to the our, our one viewer, two two viewers, um, it turns out that the um, the, the like sheriff and kind of like rich person that brought back this town and stuff they are kidnapping fertile girls from the town to breed them and sell their children to keep the town prosperous oh my goodness it's dude it's reading it it's heartbreaking it's like so sad but it's all written very well and it's a very good book <laughs> How is the art, though? As Brooks is like, I only care about who the artist is. Uh, the artist is... Is it a bullshit artist? I think I think for them to be bullshit artists, they'd have to, like, make up stupid crap. But it's all very, like, 
grounded, you know? Except for except for the playground. The playground is like it, 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 the main villain of the playground is a bullshit artist. <laughs> like she's just so dude, you have these children that are getting literally tortured and dying and she's rubbing her hands together she's twirling her mustache she's all like <laughs> good good it's hilarious well her scenes are hilarious everything else is heartbreaking but her scenes are hilarious but yeah it's that's terrible more please, more, please. <laughs> That's grotesque, and I am very interested. Interested? <laughs> very interested. Ashamed. Ashamed. <laughs> and then I find myself interested again. <laughs> no, yeah, so that's that's what I've been up to lately. Aside from listening to, like, motivational books. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of motivational books. A lot of, um, like, a, um... <sighs> kind of like a lifestyle how to kind of um become successful um build a business those kind of books you know yeah aside from all of that stuff i've also been listening to this bullshit <laughs> <laughs> there you go but all at the same time i've been procrastinating my stephen king i don't remember i I know Aaliyah's never, never going to listen to these, not Aaliyah, um, Elena is never going to listen to these things, but I completely forgot what author she told me about, because uh, yes. she was like, hey, you should read this person, and I, I should have written it down, because I do not remember who it was. What is, uh, the text is too small, why do you... Uh, motivation plus murder equals uh, enjoyment. Motivation plus murder equals entertainment. Oh, I need to get the, yeah, I'll the pull, tablet I'll, out so I can see these things. Yeah, I'll pull up the um the chat. But I was also I oh yeah, I also have to send this chat to a couple people. Shimmering Crystal says, Oh no! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why did you do Tangela with Weeping Bell? Because uh, we did look not. at it. That's, that is uh, that's the gym leader's Pokemon that's with us. What's her name? Cr Erica. Erica. Crystal. <laughs> that is our partner's partner. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, point, <clears throat> point Dexter brings up a good um, a point. So the arcade that we were at today, yes, they have an imported Japanese game. Uh, what is it? Table Flip. I'm familiar with it. Dude, it's so fun. Um, as far as we can tell, there's only like two modes. Like there's one player and then multiple player mode. But, yeah, it, it's this big old panel that you have to wait till you're able to, and then you flip it. It goes flying, and then in one mode, it, like, crashes into everything. Everybody's falling down. Like, there's a bunch of bullcrap that's happening around you. Yeah. There's some people that are, like, doing the... I don't know what you call that. Um... Wriggling. Oh, the Matrix Neo. <laughs> ah, yes. Like, they're, they're bending backwards, moving, like, like doing a backstroke midair kind of thing. That's cool. Heck Ekro yeah, Ekro evolved, evolved into Ekro. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Firo and Spiro, they just keep the O. But of course. Uh, but yeah, we... Dude, we gotta take you to the arcade because the table flip game is so cool. Yeah. Can't wait till we get the coffin flop game. <laughs> Dude, actually, there is. Ooh. That's cool. I like that. 
there's a part there there's a mode or whatever in the table flip game where you play as a ghost and you flip your own coffin <laughs> into the <laughs> crowd of people that are doing the ceremony it's so cool <laughs> Uh, crow? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Let me... <laughs> Share to messenger. Um... Send it to you. Who else? Who else? Who are all the people? Ooh, is everyone ready for the new Black Keys album next? <gasps> there's a new Black. There's a new album next Friday. Hell yeah! Or this coming Friday, dude. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm ready to put that shit on repeat. I shall toss him. I have been. It's it's sad to say that I've been running out of music because you never really run out of music. Yeah, I mean, every January, all the music for the year comes out, and then you listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's I, how it used to be. I have been listening to less new albums and listening to more books lately. And it's one of those things where I kind of miss listening to new albums, but also I'm getting a lot of information and yeah, ideas I... and stuff. I listen to podcasts and stuff constantly, and it's just like, yeah. sometimes I'm just like, what about music? That's... Remember music? Dude, I remember, and I miss it. But also... <sighs> sometimes it's just like, there's nothing on there. It all just... Sometimes it all just sounds the same. Only the names have changed? Only the names have changed. Same shit, different day. Dual chop. Oh, that was a dragon move. But I feel like I'll get to that point with podcasts too. Where as I'm listening to podcasts, I'll be like, wow, this just sounds like the same stuff over and over again. You get rid of focus energy or foresight? Mm. Wait, enables you to hit ghost types. Focus energy increases critical hits. Um, probably focus energy. Because if we come across a ghost and we're like, we don't have a good ghost type attack, we'll still be able to reliably hit it with a fight, uh, fighting type with him. Sounds good. A super repel. Heck. We might use the super repel. To repel these grimers. These screamy grimy boys. And grimy gopher guts. So I guess some of our Pokemon are over leveled. But not this guy. That's okay. <clears throat> it seems like he's the uh, newest addition to the team. Yes. It's tough because I mean, this the XP share, everybody, you know, gains. <laughs> oh, it's the newer kind of XP share where everybody. Okay. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's cool. It's nice. To yeah. have a classic looking game, but have the modern mechanics. Yes. Sludge. But does it make it too easy? Do we care? I don't Do care. Do we care? That's actually, yeah, that's the main thing. Do you care if it's I'm too easy? I'm just playing this to have fun and fuse Pokemon. Yeah. I don't need to be kicking my Tukus. Oh. <sighs> Kicked your Tukus. Kicked my Tukus. <laughs> my Keister. Because I feel like that's that's the thing that a lot of people complain about with new Pokemon games. It's, oh, it's too easy, but why do you care? You know? I mean, there are those... What was that? X and Y or Sun and Moon where you could turn off the experience share. You can make it harder on yourself. Yeah. You don't need it to be easier, so why are you complaining about it being easy? Good question. Just enjoy Ooh I um Ratuk Fool of a Tuk 
<clears throat> I don't like how there's a rat -ta coming out of its armpit. I'll catch it. That makes me uncut. Hmm. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> All I'll, right, my I'll, discom my discomfort's done. I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll absorb another one. <laughs> Point Dexter. Scarlet's too easy. You're right, Crystal. That is nightmare material. Let's catch it. Let's catch it. Let's catch Rattuck. Let's, Let's catch, catch Rattuck. Please stay asleep. Yeah, but I got it's gross. Yeah, yeah, but it is kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, I got teeth to brush. Yeah, I got mon to capture. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You say oh no, I say oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Woo! Woo. <laughs> we got it. Oh, have you gone back and listened to any of our videos? Yeah. Does the audio seem kind of low? Like, if you're listening to another video, it seems like you can have it on a normal volume and it plays normally. It seems like our audio is really low. And uh, I mean, I mean, game and audio, like our, our microphone, just all of it. It seems lower. Like I gotta turn the volume up more to hear everything. I mean, for our microphone, it's we're, we're like hitting the peak a lot of times. Like yeah, the, we're in the yellow. You know, red so is I what wonder, we don't want to be. Oh wait, what is um? This is the best audio you guys have had in a very long time. Oh, well, that could also be because we're actually recording this time, where we haven't for the last three weeks. Sorry, that was a bad joke. <laughs> it's like, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no, yeah, so... Okay, so maybe maybe it's just like a matter of... Do we just need to turn the game? Oh, I did I did turn this a little bit. Maybe that's... <laughs> I literally turned that a, a fraction, like a little hair. <laughs> that was all it took. That's a, It took a hair. <laughs> Alright, you know what? That makes me happy to hear. Uh, yes, I agree. I can actually hear you on my laptop this time. What is it, your audio? I don't know why I'm trying to read from that screen over there instead of my phone. <laughs> uh, he's saying that our audio is bad even when he's here live in studio. Oh, so we're just talking louder this time. <laughs> he's a menace! Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? As long as it as long as it's better this time, we'll try to we'll try to keep all of the um, variables the same. We'll try not to turn the dial. We'll just, uh... That's the only thing that's different. Everything else. Is yeah. The, same. <laughs> the, only... the difference is the hair. Yeah, we'll keep it. Okay, cool. Woo! The ultra ball. Good audio difference. Oh yes. What? So you're not gonna believe this. I already believe it. What's up? In the the Marvel solicits uh, for three months from now, mm -hmm. the guy who created Gore the God Butcher is doing a Scrooge McDuck comic. Is Scrooge gonna get the Necro Sword? I I don't know. I hope just, so. <laughs> it just shows him jumping into his money. So not a lot to go on. But it's by Alex Ross. The it cover. shows him jumping into his money and then coming out with, with a black sword. sword. <laughs> Held aloft towards the heavens, ready to smite gods and steal their wealth. Yes. Alright. You know what? Oh, we're evolving again. I'm down for that. Oh, I like where this is going. Well, you've got the hair for it. <laughs> or the face. And I like where it went. Yeah, I do like those colors. That is cool. That's kind of, that's almost ho-oh colors. Yeah. 
Do you remember when the emperor was getting his hair cut at the, I don't know, Lorenzo's or whatever? And he like, only has like a few wisps. <laughs> well, it had been a while. He takes off his head and just like... <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, you know, Alonzo like, like, you know, combs it down. He's one of those uh, the hammerhead looking guys, I think. Oh, oh, oh wait, oh, no, yeah. no, not hammerhead looking guys. I can't remember what alien race he is, but he's just like... Uh, not the one with Ithorian or whatever? No, not that. Sorry. No, okay. There's something else. I can't remember what, uh, but anyway, like, and then Darth Vader calls him, and it's like, oh, man, they're just, they're just bickering. He gets off the phone, and he's just like, oh, but I, like, but, I, but I like where this is going, and the, guy, and the guy's like, well, you've got, you the got the face for it. For it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uh, oh, wait, uh, Gorlug, the, dis- wait, Gorlug, the Destroyer, is doing a Disney comic. Who's Gorlug? I don't know. Garlic? Garlic Jr.? Hope not. <laughs> He's bringing the Dead Zone to Disney? <laughs> well, hopefully. <laughs> it just sucks up all of Disney into the Dead Zone. Dude, we need... Uh... I was talking to Lanaya uh, um, not that long ago. I was like, and you're back? She... Huh? Back together again? No, no, no. no, no. We're still friends. Ago. We're still friends. Um, but she's telling me about how they want to do a, or how she heard a rumor about a Rapunzel live action movie, Tangled live action, with an Indian Rapunzel. Check them boxes. I was like, dude, this is just Black Little Mermaid all over. Like, this is all it is. That's all they want it to be. Oh. Oh, oh, Gorlock the Destroyer. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, I know who you're talking about. I don't remember this... Indiv- we need a healer, not a tank. Yeah. I don't remember that individual being called Gorlock the Destroyer, but I can see that being Gorlock the Destroyer. I was called Jabba. <laughs> or Optimus Prime. <laughs> we are autonomous... Uh, <laughs> Organisms from the planet. Sorry. I don't even know what to call it. It's it's frightening. Yeah, <laughs> we are autonomous horrors, <laughs> ready to gobble your souls, <laughs> ready to gobble you up, <laughs> and your little dog Toto too. Where are your Tostito pizza rolls? I will have them. <laughs> <laughs> Master Skywalker, help! I take my big toe and I reach it all the way over to your Tostito pizza rolls, and I I swallow them, them up, <laughs> I smush them up between my bigums. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! He gets an Aldi. She gets an Aldi brand. What pray tell? Gets. Is it gonna what? be like a Aldi, song Aldi, Aldi brand what? Oh, Aldi brand pizza rolls. Oh no, not the Aldi brand pizza rolls. They stink. They're not good. No, that's unfortunate. There's some things you can't do the generic of, and pizza rolls are one of them. Don't settle for anything less. I feel like, but I feel like you could. Well, you I feel like there's could. No, no, no. I can't. What I mean <laughs> is, I feel like there's ways to make them really good. Look, I mean, I want a gourmet hot pocket. I don't see why gourmet pizza rolls aren't on the table too. Yeah. Just give me. Yeah, just uh, just uh, fry, the almost like uh, raviolis, but with the pizza in there. Mm-hmm. It's got to be. I feel like it's got to be. Oh, the, the Aldi brand is only for Gorlock. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Only Gorlock may eat the pizza roll. Oh, well, it's because yeah, yeah, she has. She is both the spokesperson and the only person that buys them <laughs> at the same time. The marketing did not go well as she only speaks Hatiz, <laughs> but... <laughs> Kubo watu un oldi pizza ro pa bundue. Minota akungo doe. Oh, please, Disney, make me the next... <laughs> make me an alien. 